Good morning. Good morning. There's a deer in the field right behind me. I haven't even really looked around. I got up. I got up because look. Look. So pretty. So, you know what I'm learning? And it just dawned on me yesterday. So, I was um, in a Zoom meeting yesterday morning. And one of the ladies in the Zoom meeting had this phrase behind her in her office. And it was, cloudy skies make the best sunsets. But for me, it's going to be cloudy skies make the best sunrise because I realized yesterday that was what was missing. It was pretty and all, but there were no clouds in the sky to offer this variation of color. Do you see that right there? That's the sun drying. The sun is drying this morning. You know what, it's gonna succeed. It is gonna succeed. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, happy 29th day of June. Yes. I can't believe it. Another month. Another month has flown by. What is this year? It's like the longest year with the shortest months. I don't know, some of you may feel not so much like that, but I just feel like, where has it gone? Where has it gone? But um, I, oh, I woke up this morning and I saw the sky and I was like, I got to get my butt out there. I think I um, just let's put today into perspective. So last night, I think I went to bed about midnight. <laughs> I just woke up. It's 540. So I'm going to take a nap later. Because <laughs> so even Superwoman. Oh, look at that. I couldn't even. I got dressed so fast I couldn't even fix my shirt. I slept in my clothes. Because when I went to bed at midnight, I knew. I knew that I would not want to get up and get dressed. And I would need all the time I could get. Oh, that little bird was mad. I was walking towards him. Um, so I did that because I wanted to exert myself this morning. And I knew it was gonna be a lot of effort. Now, I will probably finish this walk and go inside and close my eyes until about seven something. I'm not gonna be out here that long. But I also forgot to start my walk on my Fitbit. So we're gonna just have to tell it I was walking because that happens. Okay, so I'm rambling. So, if you have joined me uh, to watch this video from Connect. Oh, can I just say one other thing? I want to bring this to your guys' attention. I have naturally curly hair, wavy hair, fluffy wavy hair. And when there's humidity, my hair will start out, my hair will start out just like this, straight, like the effort I put into it yesterday. And maybe by the end of the walk, it will be poofy and curly. Maybe you guys have noticed it. I just noticed it and it's funny. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh because like, it just transforms me, <laughs> the humidity. So anyway, look at that pretty sky. Um, so if you've joined me over here, sorry for the side point. I'm kind of a little bit scatterbrained because it's the end of the month, which means I got a lot of things on my mind because a new month is coming. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that each month I host an accountability challenge. And so it's time to start talking about July. But uh, June, just if you don't know, is fine tune June, where we've been focusing on truthful tracking, unplugging and upkeeping, noticing the non-scale victories, and exercising and exerting ourselves. Yes, so, okay, so we have July coming up. And in preparation for July, I start thinking about um, why the challenge was created and what we can learn from it. How can we grow? And how can we pave the path of progress this next month? So, instead of Fearing failure, fear what you may have missed if you didn't even try. 
Okay, so um, I announced the accountability challenge on Connect yesterday, and I'll post the infographic and the explanation video today on Connect and Instagram. If you don't have me on any of those platforms, I have no idea how you found me. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I will, oh, Facebook maybe, that might be it. Okay, so, um, so I'll do that today, but I want to talk about the fear of what you may, what you may miss if you don't even try. Because I was talking last night with somebody about, um, that mulch picture that I took sitting on that mulch. How that that mulch plus me was the accumulative, the sum of what I, what I used to weigh. I hate to do this, but I have to turn. I have to do this. Oh, you'll just see the, the sunrise stretching, I guess. So, and then we started talking about the woman or man. Let's not exclude anybody that um, we were, are, on our journey in the beginning. And I think a lot about Tamara five years ago and how that woman was doing the best she could with what she knew and how in our journeys is very easy to beat ourselves up and be ashamed of the woman we were or man to feel like that person failed in life somehow because of the amount of weight that they carried or gained or are carrying here at the beginning. And I thought, all of you are here because you're triers. And you realize what you may miss out on if you don't try. And I think that is so commendable because this journey takes effort effort scares people. This journey takes sacrifice and that scares people. And so to conquer the fear, and I have a talk about this, common fears that inhibit us from making progress. Sometimes our fears inhibit us from even trying. Even trying preconceived notions or just ways we were brought up. I know somebody who doesn't like vegetables, doesn't even want to try them because of the way they were brought up. They had to eat them. So now they can choose not to eat them. So they don't because they just, they, they just don't even want to try them. So, which is, I mean, that's your choice. But this whole thing, this whole thought about Conquering fear because the fear of knowing you may miss out on something is stronger. So you give it a try. That was that was me. That was me. I knew what I would be missing out on. Oh no, here they come. I knew what I would be missing out on if I didn't try five years, four and a half years ago. And what I was going to miss out on was going to be one of the most magnificent parts and chapters of my life. And I didn't want to watch it as a spectator. So I have a seven-year-old daughter for any of you who are new followers. And when I started my journey, she was almost three. And so, um, <laughs> oh gosh, hello. Early in the morning, Tamara is cry crier. Um, so I realized I, I 
in her life right now, I write the chapters of her life with the things she experiences with me. I write these chapters for her. Have you guys realized that? Those of you with children, 18 years of their life, and I know that they start to influence their chapters when they get a mind of their own and start making choices. It may not be the best chapters. Some of my teenagers are not my best chapters. But right now, I write those for her. I write the plot. I write the story. I also have the power to introduce the characters, which is another discussion. But you right now, and even in your own life, but for me, I thought I impact her story. I impact her story. And what do I want? What do I want her story to be? And so, I decided to conquer my fears. I didn't want, I didn't want to miss out on her story. I don't, I don't want, oh, I just can't even. <laughs> so, I knew that the best chance of a success story for my daughter in health and wellness was for me to have an active role in the story we wrote by being able to give and share and create experiences and memories for her. Not that, I, now, I don't want to get any backlash for this. I'm not saying that mothers who are overweight are not writing a good story for their children. I'm not saying that. I'm saying for myself as the author, I had to change the plot in my life in a great number of ways. I'm gonna cover up the camera because I think it's blurry and I'll be right back. There, not a TikTok. I didn't like change all, all of a sudden. So anyway, that was just, that. that's just me. That is me. And so I decided to try. I decided to try. I am, um, and, and that's, that's, that's that. And I just kept trying. I just kept trying. That's my barn. That's the sunrise in the sky. The sunrise is actually over here. Oh, did you see that? Hello, sun. Yes, beautiful. So, um, I'm looking forward to July. I'm looking forward to trying this July, to trying things that are new, maybe new foods, maybe something new with fitness, and maybe, I'm going to turn around because that sunrise, the sun's going to peek right through where I just tickled it. And we need to see it. And there's too many trees. If I keep going that way, see all those trees? We would totally miss. Totally miss. So we're not going to miss. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying with you in July. I am. We are going to focus on trying something new with food. Trying something new with fitness. And trying something new for you. So we're going to talk all about that whole mindset of try, try, and try again. And um, I have a whole bunch of them. So I'm looking forward to July. I will be back later today on our different uh, social media platforms. I haven't really talked about a challenge on Facebook because it's really more just kind of like a business page. I just put it out there and I don't have a lot of you are our crossover supporters so look at that I had to stop because I had to take a picture I had to take a picture okay I don't know I don't know what we talked about today we talked about trying we talked about the story 
we talked about sorry we talked about the sunrise so thank you for joining me on this edition of trail talk with Tamara that's my trail I'm Tamara and I sure know how to talk thank you guys for walking with me um, if you are watching this and you have a brisk pace you may be at about a one mile pace from this video so today I have a long to-do list but this is the first thing on my list I may be out here about an hour because I deserve that 4% of my day where I get to do something just for me just for me but you know some of you and I want to talk about this real quick have shared with me that your time to walk in the morning has been shared with your loved ones and I think one of the greatest successes in a health and wellness journey is when we can take the things that make us better and impact those in the world around us. And those people in the world around us are closest, our closest friends and our nearest neighbors are in our family. So I love when I see those of you whose family have have supported you in your goals. Maybe they think they're supporting you. They might not realize that you also are helping them. So I've said this before, you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching, whose journey you're impacting. So always make your next best choice. And remember, you've got goals. I don't even know where to look because I want to look here. I want to look here. Oh, so pretty. Maybe we'll just listen to the, the plane overhead. I was going to say the birds chirping. I realize there's a plane. See what I mean? Do you see this? This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning of what I was talking about. Crazy frizzy girl. There's that sunrise. The sun will rise and we will try again. And remember, you've got goals. Go get them. Thanks, guys.